Hello, hello. Welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. On today's episode, we're sipping on another Buchanan's. This is the 15-year select blended malt scotch. Did he get it right? Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you tell us about this mouth? All right. So this is, like I said, this is Buchanan's select, their 15-year blended malt scotch whiskey. Of course, this means blended malt means there's only but single malts in here. There is no grain whiskey, which is very nice. Like I said, this came out in 2018. It is 40%. It's you know, originally in Mexico, and then later in the year, it's the rest of the world. Uh, it's made, of course, the primary thing. This is Del winning because it's the base of this. The rest of the ones, they don't know, but we know it's a Diageo product. So it's all their Diageo products, right? It says, it says central whiskey uh, are added to this from great single malts Diageo owns. I'm like, okay, whatever. So who the hell knows what's in there? But probably a bunch of good stuff. They own a lot of good ones. So this is made up by the uh, master uh, blender, Craig Wallace who's the current one there at Buchanan. So let's see what we think. I remember enjoying the base level Buchanan. Yeah, the 12 was good. Even the black and white wasn't bad. Yeah. It's got a little funk to it. Yeah, it's got that nice, you know, granola, mm -hmm. honey, Let's vanilla, caramel. And then my typical peaches and cream, barley marker. Yep. It's just like yep. screams peaches. Yep. Uncooked pie crust, lemon lime. Yeah, it really is like a peach yeah. pie with an apple. Uh, yeah, yeah, peaches, a, yeah. A lot of peaches and cream, like millions you said. Millions of peaches. And a little bit of peats in there, too. A little, not, a little hints of smoke. Yeah, I get mostly the mushroom herbal fungal peat. Yeah, yeah it's Highland peat, so. Yeah. I don't get the everything's dead peat. Or the no, no. That's what I mean. Okay. Yeah, it Tire smells nice. Yeah, it's that mushroom fungal for sure. Earthy. Yeah. Yeah, Earthy's good, yeah. Decaying trees. Yeah, it smells nice. I like it. It does smell too, too bad. We'll see if how that funk registers on my palate, though. I'm almost getting like a sherry funk in there as well, like that sulfury. Okay, that could but be. I'm see what I'm getting as far as funk. That's the first thing that hit my nose. There's a little bit of raisins in there, so that could be. A little bit of waxiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little walnut. A little dates and plums. So yeah, so it could be sherry cast in there. It smells nice. No complaints. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little peat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely more peat on the palate than there is on the, on the nose. Yeah. yeah, but it's not, again, it's not that medicinal mm -mm. Right. at all. Just nice well, little bit of, you know, pinch of smoke. Honey, lemon, lime, peaches, salty. It's also got a nice salty, briny ash to it as well. I get it. Really like. Caramel, butterscotchy, Werther's original. Mm hmm. And now, like a roasted marshmallow is coming up with some burnt mm -hmm. crust and coffee. It's cool a enough. grilled. Grilled mushrooms hit me at about mid palate and towards the finish, and it does finish to me with a bit of an ashiness. Yeah, yeah it's is nice. Kind of surprising that you did take this. Well, I guess it was on the finish, but there's a bit of an ashiness to it. I enjoy the heck out of that. I like that's really nice. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad you like that thing. I'll be interested yeah, when we review good. the Dow Winnie how you like yeah, that on its own. I don't like. Yeah, yeah, I'm no, not familiar not. with with Dow Winnie. Yeah, they're the highest elevation distillery, but they're like so the base. But yeah, we'll cover those guys soon. I've got a few of those, but uh, yeah, this is very nice. Price point yes. on these is about fifty bucks. Oh, it's I've seen it price yeah, I've seen it as low as like forty-two, as high as sixty, but so price, average about fifty. But you know, for when you think about it, it's a bunch of fifteen years single malts put together. Fifty is really not bad. All they, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of 50, 15 year olds that are almost a hundred dollars now. So I really yeah. can't complain. Price wise, it's, it's crazy how much they've gone up recently. Yeah, yeah, recently it's out of control. But yeah, I, I like, like this product. That's nice, and I and I and I really I'm I enjoy the price point as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not too shabby. Yeah, we've still got three other Buchanan's to review. We've still got the 18, the Masters, and the 21 year Red Sea. Well, they're all they all get better and better. So this is good though. I really like this one. Yep. I won't be sad to try another. No. 
Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Come hang out with us live on Monday nights and check out the Patreon for some behind the scenes fun. And until next time. Keep on crusading for the whiskey in your glass. Cheers. 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 See this time you got real whiskey. Hmm. So this time you got real whiskey. Right. Real flavored. whiskey. That's flavored shit. Five, four. What do you say it was? Buchanan's? Buchanan's select 15 year blended malt scotch. Three, two. Hello, hello. Welcome on in to another episode.